Hi, welcome for RTL online trainings. In this session, we are going to talk about how to revoke user data access. We know that the entire Fusion applications uh, is uh, RBAC. It means rule-based access control. Rule-based access control. So based on the rule, user can access the applications. Whenever we are going to hire an employee, let's say I'm going to hire an employee called let me hire an employee and add the roles and data access. Let's go to manage users. Let me hire an employee here. I'm hiring this uh, employee for uh, US-1 legal entity as well as for US-1 business unit. I'm going to do this. Let's go for save and close. After we hire an employee, generally what we'll do, we'll assign the roles to the user. If we assign the roles to the user, user can access the application. User can access the application. It means user can log in and can open the pages which are associated with that particular role. But user will not be able to perform the transactions, nothing but data related, insert, update, delete. For that, we will provide the data access, right? So go to security console, search for this user. For this user, I'm going to assign a couple of roles. Let me reset the password. I'm going to add three roles for this user. One is a uh, general ledger. Go for edit, add role. Quarry underscore GL underscore general ledger, general accountant, and then I'm going to add your mint. Okay. Then I'm going to attach inventory or warehouse manager. So one is related for GL model, another one is related for procurement model, another one is related for inventory model. So I have assigned three roles for the current user. Let's log out from this. And now I'm going to assign the data access for the user. So how we will provide the data access from FSM environment. Let's go to financials or we can go to procurement tab also. Here search for the task called data access for users, manage data access for users here. So provide the username and role combination, showing that there are three. General ledger module means so we have to provide your data access set, but a ledger. For every primary ledger, by default, one data access set will be created. So whenever we are working in GL, it's going to be ledger or ledger set, right? You are going to have, then when we are talking about procurement module, then it's going to be security context is business unit which business unit you are going to assign for the current user. When we are going for uh, inventory, warehouse manager, here we can find warehouse manager, inventory organization. We are going to assign inventory organization. Like this will provide the data access so that whenever user log into the application, user can access that particular data organization data, good initial users and run this users and role synchronization process and go for submit. Once LDA process is completed, let's log out and uh, log in with the new user. You will come to know the data and roles has been applied or not.
go to navigator now we can find the gl role here general ledger module as well as the inventory and also the procurement so here we can find procurement to create purchase orders here we can find inventory and here we can find the journals right so and whenever we open that particular task we can find the data access this now we provide a data access to the user now client is asking let's remove this data access for the current user remove this data access for the current user how we can go for revoke the data access from the user so what we have to do is let's log into the applications here Now we can go for uh, financials, we provide uh, data access here, manage data access for users. If we want to search what are the data access we have given for users, we'll do it from here. Go to this radio button and we are going to search for this user account, whatever we have created, search this and click this button will come to know this is the user account. Now we would like to go for remove all this. In case if we want to export this data access information, sometimes client wants to get it into the Excel sheets uh, for analyzing purpose. Then we can go for export all data access information. Here it is, okay. And here is actions button. We can go for revoke data access assignments. This is how we can go for uh, remove this data access from the user. Revoke data access accounts. Click on this. Same thing, this one also. Revoke data access. Yeah. This is how we can go for remove the data access from the current user here. It is. Now, whenever user log into the applications, he'll be able to access the application, but you will not be able to access the data. Let's log in. When, when employee try to log into the applications here, now go to Navigator and try to open the transactions page. Now see, we don't find any data here. Only the role has given. Role means the pages are open, but we will not be able to search the data or we will not be able to create uh, the transactions here. You are not going to get a procurement information. I can't create because I don't have the access to perform DML operations on the database. That's what data access. So whenever we are working with Fusion applications, there will be two accesses. One is application, then database. First, we have to get the access to the application, means this front end. Once we get the application access, then we have to get the data access. Nothing but uh, creating the records, search for the records, update the records, this all DML operations. Application access is nothing but assigning the roles to the user, data, Database access is nothing but providing the data access for the user, okay? This is how we can go for add the data access and revoke the data access. Thank you. Subscribe for our YouTube channel to get latest uh, updates on our uh, application. So you can get it from YouTube, RTL online trainings. Subscribe to this, you will be getting the latest uh, application features, usernames, as well as the real time issues, training, and placements. So if anybody is looking for uh, placement and help in the training related, please contact us. Thank you.